Hi everyone, it's Rachel and I welcome you back to my channel. I have the second part of the estate sale that I visited a few weeks ago. I've been delayed in getting this video out, not intentionally. Um, just had some things going on in life and I just have not had the opportunity to sit down and film this video. So I'm back. I'm trying. Um, we have kids back in school, so that's going to be helpful. I'm going to try to keep back on track with my videos. And so today I am um, going to show you the second part of that haul. Just to recap, this was a home on a property that they also had a wedding venue. They put the house for sale. They put everything up for sale and they temporarily turned the wedding venue into a thrift store. So it was just chock full of so many things and um, they were looking to just kind of really get rid of stuff so that they didn't have to move it all and so they were giving really good deals so i had gone one weekend when i had an opportunity to get by there also this was the sale that had all the frog items so i did pick up some so if anyone wants to see that shopping video you can go back and look for that estate sale and i think um you'll see that there were lots of frogs there and the like little frog figurines and decorations um, and then I did a, a part one haul for that visit. And then the next weekend they had told me that they were going to go ahead and continue selling until they had to be out and they weren't advertising anymore. So, um, I had another, another opportunity to drive out there, not knowing whether they were actually going to be open or not, but the gate was open. So I got there and they, there weren't as many people there and when I got there there was another young man and he was waiting outside the door well the door to the shop was closed it was locked well I walked back to ask him if he knew anything and just about that time the owner came out and she opened the shop for both of us and so it was just him and I in there shopping and her and it was just a really neat experience because um, I got to learn a little bit more about her and that young man who um, was buying some very interesting items. He was a college student and he was telling me all about his apartment and how he decorated it with um, like kind of more eclectic things. It sounded really interesting. He was buying some some neat things as well. Anyways, I don't I didn't get as many items this time so it won't take me as long to go through this haul um i did pay a little bit up on them this time i may have paid a little too much for some items but it's fine um i really like what i got and i actually saw some things this time that i missed the first time that's why i was glad i went back because um i really think i got some good things this time as well okay what am i going to start with okay Actually, this um, this was one of the first things I picked up. There was a box with picture frames there, and I think the um, it said a dollar a frame. So I went ahead and grabbed this. It's the oval frame, and it has a little uh, girl picture. I have no idea who this little girl is, but um, it's kind of more the frame itself has like a green, that avocado green to it, and it's kind of more of a plastic. It's brown and has some gold decor decorative around the trim but for a dollar um i thought that was neat i'll have to i know it's an older frame i'll have to look to see so let's see how i'm gonna do this all right so um the beginning of the film i just realized i didn't have my ring light on so i just turned it on so you might notice a difference in the lighting um So I'll have to see um, if the frame is more valuable just by itself or if it would be, um, you know, valuable to sell it with the photo in it as well. I'm not real sure, but I just really like this frame. And, and it's one that you would hang on the wall. So, and you could also put it in one of those little easel stands. I think it, that would work too. Then I picked... This is just a single salt and pepper shaker, and it looks like Mrs. Claus, and she's holding a little sack of toys, and let's see, the original price on her, she had a sticker of $8, and there was not another shaker, because I looked around, so um, 
yeah, I looked around and I didn't find another. So she ended up giving me half off on this. So I paid $4 on her. She's in pretty good shape. She has that, um, that spaghetti, like the, you see them a lot of times in the little spaghetti poodles and things like that, but it's around her collar and then right here in her little pocket area. I don't know. Um, she has AX920P on the bottom. So I have to look up to see who her maker is. I might end up keeping her. I do sometimes keep shakers that are um, missing the other part of them. And she'd be just cute to sit out at Christmas. But I'll have to decide what I'll do with her. And I actually picked this up for my son. It's a little mini Coca-Cola bottle. He collects um, some Coca-Cola items. It still has the lid. There's this life. I think this would have had some Coke in it, but it looks like it's all gone now. It's not in the greatest condition, um, but again, it was more just for his collection. And then I picked up this little honey pot, and it is. It looks like <laughs> this really looks like a fly on here but I'm assuming that's supposed to be a bee. I don't know I'll have to look it up but I um, the bottom is marked Francoma so this is Francoma pottery and this is in really good condition. I don't know if this would have come with the little wooden stir for the um, that goes in the honey pots. It may have. I might actually have an extra one. I'll look it up to see if it sells fine without it because someone can just purchase one of those or they may have one at home. Um, but I also may have one that I can put with it. I'll look to see. But again, uh, let's see if we can pick this up. Got Franco Ma Pottery. And this should do pretty good. And I think I paid $4 for that. So it's just a black little Franco Ma Pottery honey jar. Um, when I had looked that up when I was there, and that should sell pretty good. All right. Oh. I want to show you, okay, so I picked this climbing scroll up, and if you see the video from the last haul, I had found one that day as well, the first time I went. Well, I ended up finding this in the same exact area where I found that first one, and he's in really good condition. He does have like a little bit of a uh, missing piece of ceramic there but I mean that's the underside that's going to hang on the wall but I got I have the other one because I wanted to see if they match I pulled it out and they do so now I have two little climbing wall squirrels so I'll put them like this so you can see how these they would hang they're not marked I know sometimes these are marked made in Japan I don't see any marks on the these, but they're really, um, the ceramic's really well made and the coloring's a little bit different than some of the ones in um, that I see listed online. So these should do really well. So just to give you an idea on the difference in pricing that I was getting on the first day versus the day I went back, um, I paid a dollar for that first one and then I paid two dollars for this one. So three dollars in for the pair is not bad at all. Um, I was really pretty excited to find these because these um, these are really a popular sell. A few little miniatures that I found is this little mini, um, I guess it's like a little creamer, a little pitcher creamer. It is marked Bavaria, oh, hold on. It's Bavaria, Germany, Boscher, and I cannot read. It's W-E-I-D-E, -E, and some of the wording is... Um, Let's see if I can get this to focus there. See that? But it's just a cute little miniature pitcher creamer. And these do really well in my booth. Um, I could also, this might be something that I could put up on whatnot. I'll have to look it up to see what the value. I haven't really done that this time. I haven't had the opportunity. Uh, sometimes when I do these haul videos, I try to look up ahead of time just an idea what price range is I just didn't get that done this time but um, even if I think I paid two dollars for it so that should do pretty good I should be able to um, creamers are I, I sell creamers in my booth pretty really well and then I found this this is one of the things I probably paid just a little too much for it says friendship 
and it looks like a little book and it's a hinge trinket box that's what the back side looks like Let's see if i can get it open there and it is um it looks like are those little blue bonnets maybe and it says bring sunshine and beauty to the garden of our lives so it's like a little book friendship book uh, hinge trinket box these are another thing um, if I can find for good prices that do sell well um, if they have the little some of them come with little trinkets inside of them and they those are a lot more desirable she they it was marked 15 so she ended up giving me this for seven dollars again I'm that may have been just a little bit too much for this if it was something like one of the uh, name brand like Limoges it probably wouldn't have been bad but there's no markings on this so this is just um we'll have to see i'll have to see um what that what i end up getting for that so i think i only paid a dollar for this it's just a little piece of wooden doll furniture um i'm not sure if i've mentioned it before i think i have someone had given us a doll house it is in storage right now um until i'm able to work on it with my girls so anytime i find a good deal on uh the little miniature doll furniture I grab it because we'll use it in that little house when the time comes that we get to work on that and this there were several scarves but this one stood out to me a little bit more um, it was the texturing and just the real pretty um, floral design on that and you know because it's got a lot of red and blue and white I think this would be really pretty to put out with your um, red white and blue decor somehow you could display that but it has the rolled edges which I know um, can indicate that it is vintage now this does have a tag let me see where yes um, it's all acetate twill hand painted made in Japan so I got this little tag here and I'm not sure what I would get for it, but I think I paid a dollar for it and it's in pretty good condition. Um, I'm particular about when I pick up scarves because some of them will get snagged. There might be a little bit of a, a snag here, but it's not, um, not too bad. Sometimes you'll find little worn holes in them. But this one, I just like the color of it. I like the texture and I like that the tag said made in Japan. I know it's vintage. So grabbed that so this this actually this item I believe I did put in the first video and I was a little bit hesitant about things I picked up the first day because I wasn't sure how they were pricing but when I went back the second day I was like you know what I'm gonna find out about these because I I did ask her because I want to say so this is the box these are Hurricane Lamp by Anchor Hawking. Now, I didn't really notice until I got in the light. The box, I was pretty excited about the box because of the graphics. It does show a lot of wear. Um, I don't know if that would affect the sale because the item itself, these are in really good condition. And I don't want to drop these. <laughs> they're really pretty glass. So they're little hurricane lamps. And they're still in the box. They don't look used. And yeah. So she, they had uh, $25 on them. And she, um, I asked her would she take any less. And she said 15 So I grabbed these. These should do well. Um, you could just pretty much because they're clear glass you could use these about any time of the year they'd be real pretty at christmas with your red with your red candlesticks in them so you have the i'll pull one out Hold on. so you have the little base where you put your candlestick there and then you have the globe that goes on top of that so i was pretty excited um these do well even without the box so that's why i'm thinking that the fact that it has some condition issues is not going to be a big deal as far as resale just because these are in such good shape themselves i just like the i love that they do that little printed candlestick in the inside there okay now i'm going to show you i think this is the favorite this is my favorite item that i found that day i um 
there was a shelf with a lot of little knickknacks that were um, they weren't the greatest of quality um, but I <laughs> I crouched down to the lower shelf and I found these tucked at the very back I don't know why they were way back if someone put them there I, I don't know it was kind of odd I didn't see them the first day or I'd have grabbed them the first day they were this little nun and it's not salt and pepper shakers because that's what I thought they were at first um, it's a little nun and she's playing her organ and it is so cute um, I paid five dollars for this little set and it's marked fine quality a Japan on the bottom of both of those so they're just little figurines and it's she's playing her organ and um, this will be I'm not quite sure if I'll end up keeping these or um, I don't I didn't look these up I don't know what they sell for I knew that these were good things to pick up the quality of them the fact that it has the sticker on the bottom um, I did look her over I thought she didn't have there was no damage but when I got her home so the lighting in some of these places is not very good so you like I'm checking it over I'm thinking everything's great nothing perfection well then I get it home and I don't have the greatest of lighting but sometimes um, a little bit brighter light shows the, all the flaws and she does in, have a little chip right there but that's not a really big deal because she rests um, that hand on the organ so you don't even really see that so other than that really good condition so yeah that was my most excited find for one I think because it was just the idea that it was tucked back in the back and it stood out um, with all the other items there and um, so yeah I was pretty excited about that all right so one last thing and this is going to be something I keep now you you also did see it in the first video I saw her again the second time nobody had gotten her and she's this little um, I would imagine she's like a little vanity jar with this really delicate ceramic lace skirt um, the reason why I didn't even bother with her the first time because she had so much damage and I think I showed it on the camera um, because it's on both sides it's all the way around but I started contemplating I was like let me just see I, I was talking to the lady and I was telling her um, I have a misfit collection so I find little vintage items that I just don't especially if the price is really low I will take them in either if I can repair them or just keep them as is but I have I displayed them in my previous home in a curio cabinet right now a lot of my stuff is packed away because we don't have any place to put it but I I don't know I inquired about her I said let me see how much she'll charge me for it so she said three dollars and she was so tickled when I told her I had a misfit collection and whenever I said that the young man that was there he saw something else that was broken and he asked her did she have it, I think it's like a broken off arm and he asked her did she happen to have the arm to it she said no but don't you want it for your misfit collection <laughs> and he's like well I should anyways back to her she's very pretty she has a pretty little face and you see her little flower headband backside and then all her broken pieces are were inside of here so my this is um, what I plan to do is to try <laughs> it's gonna be like a puzzle putting her back together but I'm gonna try to see if I can get her mostly back together and again um, she'll stay in my collection and I thought for three dollars sure we'll take her and I'm glad I picked her up <laughs> and she's not marked on the bottom but anyways all right so that's my haul that is the last of that estate sale I did not get by there another day um, Jeffrey and I went to an estate sale a couple weeks ago so that'll be the next video I put up and just a little um, hint the home belonged to a couple that were antique vintage dealers 
and um, they had both passed away and his sister in inherited that home and so she was uh, there with the estate company and they had this it was just massive the house was so full of so many things i personally didn't find a lot of antique items that day but we found some vintage stuff and i brought i think i filled two boxes full of stuff so that's going to be my next video and then i'll have the haul to that and um that haul is going to be pretty big and I may end up having to split that in two. I thank you all for watching. If this is content that you like, I appreciate when you subscribe, like, and comment. I do try to keep up with the comments and I appreciate you all. Um, some of you have had some really nice comments and it's very encouraging and I do appreciate that. So I'm hoping that I get more discipline in my videos and I will put out some new content and I will see you next time. All right, bye.